Liza. She came uh, over to my apartment one day. She was going to do an album. And a lady with whom she was working, uh, she was in Carnival uh, out in Mineola or something in uh, Long Island. And uh, she w was gathering songs for the album. And this friend of ours thought maybe we'd play some songs for her that would end up in the album. So she brought over one afternoon. We played some songs. And then she said, what are you working on now? And we said, this musical, Floor of the Red Menace. She said, can I hear some of those? And so we played her songs. And she jumped up. It was very endearing, really. And she said, can I try that? And I kind of sat down. And she stood behind John and read over his shoulder. Uh, a couple of songs, Quiet Thing. And, and then she got all excited and she said, I really want to do this. But you know, we didn't have the authority to ask her to do it. I mean, she was there on another mission and that just was kind of accidental. So we said that we would tell everybody that she wanted to audition. And we taught her the song to audition with. And when we mentioned it to Mr. Abbott, he said he'd seen uh, her in Best Foot Forward, somewhere on the east side. And he didn't like Liza. He said, no, no, she's all wrong, and uh, I, don't, I don't want her. But she came up for the audition anyway, and then the stage manager called her name and said, uh, you know, as they introduce, they say, well, this is Liza Minnelli, and Liza walked out. And I was sitting next to Mr. Abbott. And he turned to me and he said, well, this is a waste of time, in a very loud, booming voice. And poor Liza heard him. And you could see how she stumbled a little. But she sang, and he didn't change his mind. He said, thank you, and she left, and it was over. And we spoke about it. He said, no, no, I, I don't think she's right. So she did not get it right away. It's a very long story. But she, sure you want to hear it? But she persisted in... No, no. we persisted. You persisted. Yeah. Mr. Rabbit wanted Edie Gourmet. And Edie Gourmet and Mr. Rabbit had a dinner date. And Edie Gourmet did not show up. And Mr. Rabbit came in the next morning. He was really <laughs> pissed off. And uh, although he never showed that, he was a real gentleman. But you kind of knew that Edie Gourmet was no longer, uh, you know, a question. She'd be out. And uh, he left for Florida. And then we started on Hal again. How about lies? How I really had a feeling that she was the right uh, person. And finally, Hal said, well, all right, I'll just, I'll call him. And we all listened, you know, like the end of The Bad and the Beautiful, while he spoke to uh, Abbott on the phone. And uh, Abbott said, well, all right, take her. Hire the Manelli girl. I don't know why that was, but it was. And so we hired him. 